What's up guys, Five Star Paintball Tech here. We're gonna do an installation video for the Generations 3 and 4 LPR Supercharger Kits for the Intimidators. Um, we're gonna tackle this in a few different parts. First is going to be a overview of all the tools that you'll need. We'll go over uh, all the parts that come in the kit and how to disassemble the reg, um, and then also how to install all the uh, new parts uh, so that you can get this thing rocking. Um, so to start, um, parts you'll need, or tools that you'll need uh, to install the kit are going to include a set of needle nose pliers. You'll need this to uh, yank the LPR piston out. Um, we'll be using Dow 55 to relube the O-rings on the uh, LPR piston. Um, if you don't have Dow 55, you could use Dow 33, uh, Planet Eclipse lube, Shocker lube, sleek, whatever whatever uh, you got, that's about 33 based. Um, we'll use a 316 Allen key to uninstall the adjuster screw uh, and reinstall the new one. And then lastly, a, a small flathead screwdriver to uninstall and reinstall the uh, two Schrader valves, the old one and the new one. Um, so again, there's uh, four pieces that come into the kit, or five pieces actually, if you include the O-ring. Um, first part that we're going to be installing uh, will be the O-ring. So to do that, I just like to uh, kind of pinch the O-ring at the sides. And if you do it right, you'll kind of get it to uh, come up from the front. You just kind of push it off. New one, just throw it around the base and you could kind of roll it on. So now that that's installed, uh, next piece that we're going to um, tackle is going to be the LPR adjustment screw. So we're just gonna unscrew that with your 316 Allen key, set that off to the side, and you have your new one right here. And that's just going to screw right in. Um, I would recommend leaving a few threads uh, showing uh, during the install process. That way when you install the full regulator back onto the marker, um, you know, it's zeroed out and uh, you could start from uh, from zero pressure um, and then adjust uh, upwards from there. Um, for the Generation 3 LPR bodies, they have a seam right here and that's basically where it unscrews. So we're just going to unscrew that and set this off to the side. You'll see your adjuster plate showing. So actually, if you tilt the regulator, the adjuster spring and the main uh, or the uh, adjuster plate and the main spring will fall right out. We're actually going to still utilize the uh, the main spring, so we're going to keep that off to the side. And um, then next part is going to be your piston. We'll use the needle nose pliers to uh, grab those. It just pulls right out. Set that off to the side. And then uh, last piece here is going to be the um, Schrader valve. So. Uh, to get to that, we're just going to use the flathead screwdriver. There's uh, flats in the middle um, that you can depress the uh, pin uh, with and then use the, the uh, big flat to uh, get the Schrader valve uh, out of there. Otherwise, you can also use the uh, part of the flat that's uh, to the left or to the right of the Schrader valve pin. So. Once that's unscrewed, oh, didn't get it all the way. Once that's unscrewed, it'll fall right out. I'm using an AKA kit, which has a more stubborn spring on the inside. There we go. Set that off to the side. And now the uh, LPR body's naked. So. What we're gonna do is uh, start by installing the new uh, Schrader valve. Um, that'll just, uh, and I kind of like to go turn the uh, LPR body upside down. That way it's easier to route the um, new Schrader valve in in one piece. And you'll notice that it has these uh, four different kind of like uh, flats. You're just gonna use the small screwdriver to grab one of them. And that'll just screw right in. Great. Um, next piece is going to be the piston. Um, this one does not have O-rings on it. Obviously, they will come with O-rings uh, when they ship out. Um, you're just going to want to lubricate the O-rings again with Dow 55 uh, and just enough to, to cover the O-rings. You don't need to go heavy on it. Um, if you don't have Dow 55, you could use Dow 55 or, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, Dow 33 uh, as an alternative. Um, so once you have this uh, lubricated, you're just going to uh, push it down into the uh, LPR body. Next piece is going to be your LPR mainspring, which just pops in there, followed by the adjuster plate. It will go on top. And then you're just going to screw the uh, 
top part of the LPR body back on, and this is ready to go back in. Uh, it'll just screw back in clockwise into your front block. Um, my recommendation for the Generation 3 LPRs, similar to the, um, uh, and I'm sorry, my recommendation for the Generation 3 Intimidators um, is you set the uh, LPR between 75 to 80 PSI. Uh, for Generation 4 LPRs, um, I recommend a uh, starting pressure of uh, 60. And uh, the main thing with the Generation 4 is you don't go above 65, otherwise you risk uh, blowing your poppet o-ring. Um, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, uh, kit is installed. This is ready to install back onto your marker and, uh, and air up and uh, tune it. Um, yeah, enjoy the kit, guys. Looking forward to getting these in your guns. Take care.